We have been bringing you a series of conversations with the people running to become Austin's next mayor. Now, this evening, we are looking at someone who's already serving at Austin City Hall. Mike Martinez joined the Austin City Council in 2006, and before that, he served 13 years as an Austin firefighter. KXAN's Robert Hadlock spoke with Martinez about his vision for leading Austin. Well, Mike, you're applying for a job to be the next mayor of Austin. Why should people support you? You know, I've been on the council since 2008, but before that I served as an Austin firefighter. And so I'm running for mayor with that same mantra in mind that no one gets left behind. What would you do to help the middle class if you're elected? I'll continue doing what we've already started, and that's making sure that they are earning a fair wage for the work that they're providing. We fought for things like a minimum $11 an hour minimum wage, providing pre prevailing wages to construction workers, ensuring that companies provide health care benefits, domestic partner benefits. There are so many people in Austin who complain about high property taxes. Sure. What can be done? So our, our number one priority at the city of Austin is our annual budget decision. For the last five years in a row, uh, I'm proud of the work the council has done to hold the tax rate flat, flat or as we did this year, lower it. What's happening, as you know, is Austin is such a highly sought after city. More folks are moving here, property values are going up, and so consequently uh, property tax bills are going up. We as a council though, we have a responsibility to provide the services that our folks need. You hear talk from people who live not in the center city but in the outskirts of the city limits of Austin that they don't feel like they've been represented by the current council and you're a member of the current council. Sure. How do you respond to those criticisms? You know, I think it's a fair criticism. It's why I fought the hardest to make sure that we went to single member districts. I believe that the at-large system had, had outlived its usefulness. How will you as mayor bring people together to work for the greater good of Austin? I think that's going to be the highest responsibility of the next mayor. It's not to drive an agenda but to get this new form of government off to the right start. I think I have that skill set to bring those folks together in a collaborative way to find common ground. You are a supporter of the rail bond. We have to start taking big and bold steps to address things like traffic congestion. And that does mean uh, a mass transit system that gives folks the alternatives. And this was our final report in our series of conversations with the Austin mayoral candidate. Tomorrow night, we will give you the chance to hear from all of the candidates on the same stage. KXAN will co-host the Mayor's Forum at the Moody Auditorium at the University of Texas. That forum starts at 7 o'clock. I will be one of the moderators, and we want to know what questions you want the candidates to answer. Submit those questions right now at reportit at kxan.com, and I'll be sure to ask as many as we can on Wednesday night. Night.